Ladies and gentlemen, chapter number two, balance of movement. Balance of movement is a very complex subject. Therefore, I need your full attention, total awareness, and open mind. We start by clarifying that it is very important to understand the usage of the natural forces. Only when we are able to use these forces as our friends can we increase power and balance through our movement. Which are these forces? We have gravity force, inertia force, centrifugal and centripetal force. Later we also will discuss regarding a mechanical understanding which is called motion. But let's concentrate for the moment on the four natural forces starting from gravity. If you have already watched chapter number one where we discuss personal balance and balance of couple, you will have a good understanding of how to use gravity. The most important point regarding gravity is that we do not want to have side loads and we want to be constantly on balance. So we can move to point number two, inertia. Inertia, ladies and gentlemen, is the force that keeps a ball that you decide to roll continue after you have finished your push. So inertia, it's a force that carries on a previous energy. We do not create inertia. Crea inertia already exists, but as soon as we start moving our body, this force engage. So I need to be able to redirect this force in order for me to be on balance when I move. So for example, if I'm dancing an impetus turn, the natural tendency once I create movement, once I create a bigger movement and a bigger energy, is that inertia will want me to continue in my previous direction. What we always tend to do is to then use muscles to stop that force. So we are starting one movement, and now we lock our muscles to stop that inertia from continuing. Okay. Of course, this is not good energy-wise for our body. It is the same as riding a bicycle and constantly stopping to change our direction. If you think of the way you ride a bicycle, the first three or four times we apply pressure on the pedals are the heaviest. After that, it becomes much easier to keep the natural force continue. When we decide to change the direction with the bicycle, we do not stop, turn the bicycle and start again. But we simply change the direction of our bicycle by changing the flow of the movement we have created. When we dance, we want to do the same thing. Okay. Therefore, if I do an impetus turn, energy starting, I now want to redirect the energy so that I don't have to stop, use my muscles to stop, and use my muscles to start again. Therefore, if I do a correct one, you can see that the body is modifying, all the joints are activating, in order for me to redirect the flow of inertia that I've created. You have to visualize this force because of course we cannot see it and we cannot really feel it at the beginning. So if you visualize water, for example, you must also feel the speed of the water. So you must guide this force. If I want to move water, I must feel the speed of the water and guide it. I cannot push through it. Inertia is the same. I need to feel the speed of inertia. I need to redirect inertia. I cannot force it. Therefore, I must have a great respect of the inertia force. Inertia can help me to become powerful and help me to save my own physical energy. Now, later, we will see some steps that you can practice in order for you to 
learn how to redirect this energy. What you must remember is that inertia and weight are not the same thing. So one very easy mistake is to start redirecting the weight which causes a side load, which causes a loss of personal balance. Instead of the balance from us remain vertical and I can now use my joint to redirect the force but still maintaining my perfect balance. If we take a throwaway of a sway, arriving maybe from a telemark telespin, there is a lot of energy and a lot of inertia. There's a directional inertia, there is a rotary inertia. We do not want to arrive with all this power and have to use muscles to stop these forces. But once again, we want to receive these forces, become aware of inertia, and redirect inertia so that he remains our friend. If I do an outside change, one, two, three, very, very common mistake because the energy is moving in this direction. We now change our body without changing the direction of the energy. The energy is pushing us out of balance. So again, I need to feel how I have to redirect this energy. How do I do this? Of course, by using the activity in my joints. This is also why we cannot have a stiff and hard body. Because we must always receive these forces before we can redirect them. So I cannot reject a force. My body must always be able to receive, to absorb, and redirect. This goes for waltz, for tango, for foxtrot, for quickstep, for Venice waltz.